So this was a study of um, small molecule VEGF receptor inhibitor exitinib, which is approved for refractory kidney cancer. And this was a separate study that looked at the activity of this drug in the frontline setting. What was unique about this trial is that it, in, it was a randomized trial of dose titration. So with oral therapy, there's a, a large variability in drug levels in an individual patient at a given dose. So if you give everybody the same dose, they're going to have wildly variable drug levels. That's true for all drugs. Um, so this drug, part of this drug's development has been this titration concept, meaning if patients tolerate a given dose, then you would go up in dose, presumably because um, there's a certain threshold above which you need to be to have a response, to have drug effect. So this study took about 200 previously untreated metastatic kidney cancer patients, treated them for a month with the standard dose, which is five milligrams twice a day. Um, about, and then there were certain criteria for being randomized to go up in dose or not, basically lack of uh, hypertension or other toxicity. Some patients didn't meet those criteria and they just got treated with five milligrams twice a day or lower. Um, about 100 patients met the criteria and were randomized to either actually go up in dose or to placebo titrate, meaning they didn't go up in dose. The primary endpoint of the study was response rate, and it did show a 20% advantage in response rate to patients who were titrated. So there was some clinical effect of actually going up in dose, arguing that those patients, quote unquote, needed a higher dose for clinical effect. The progression-free survival favored titration, but was not significant, and the data being presented here are the overall survival. So the, um, the, the overall survival data showed that there was a numerical advantage in the titration group. Now, it wasn't powered for survival, so it's not statistically significant, but the curves are interesting in that. Um, in the titrated patients, they sort of drop down right away, probably because when you push people to titration, sometimes you push them too much. You give them toxicity and they have to come off therapy. So what we've learned in this whole drug development of this particular agent is there's a, there's a nuance. There's a lot of nuance and subtlety to finding the right dose of drug for patients. It's, it's actually really hard to do.